All right, I'm going to show you how to sync audio with your from your digital recorder with the crummy audio uh, that was recorded on your uh, video camera that doesn't have a mic input. So as an example, the Panasonic uh, camcorders don't have a microphone input. Uh, and if you're at a press conference and you have to be 20 feet back, it's going to sound qu quite poor. So a uh, way around it is to put take your Olympus digital recorder, set it at the podium, uh, have your camera 20 feet away, and then sync the audio later. This is a lot more work but it's definitely worth it for the sound quality. Now, here's a little uh, one, you know, a few months ago when we did some training. Uh, we did this with Candace and uh, Rick, and we're just going to do it again for fun. So uh, here's me talking, and if you listen, um, I'm relatively close, but I don't sound super, I don't sound as good as if I was mic'd. Listen. You may not be able to hear it, but I, I, the room sounds kind of echoey. Um, I don't sound super good. I sound like I was recorded with the on-camera mic. So, first thing we want to do is we want to get our good audio from our recorder. So, go to my desktop here. Now, um, let's assume, I've already copied it to my computer, but if I hadn't have, I would plug in my Olympus, the little folder would come up, and I would drag off my... Uh, my uh, WMA file. So this is the WMA file right here. And um, Final Cut Pro can't read WMA files. Uh, in fact, it can open MP3s, but it doesn't really like them. Um, in order to edit properly, you need uncompressed video and uncompressed uh, audio. Um, if you imported a MP3, MP3 is compressed audio, so it would have to be constantly uncompressing and recompressing on the fly, and that would take CPU power. So you need to convert this into an AIF file, uh, so that is uncompressed first. In order to do that, go open up MPEG Stream Clip. You need to already have Flip for Mac installed uh, in order for your um, Mac to be able to open WMA files. So if you can't, if QuickTime can't open your WMA file, you need to have Flip for Mac installed first. Uh, so we're going to assume that you do already. And uh, unfortunately, Stream Clip doesn't see WMA files. I can't drag and drop them like I could a video. So what you do is you go to File, Open File. And we're going to point ourselves to our little MP3, which I have in this folder. And you see here, it, it doesn't even see it, right? By default, it only sees video files. So, and if I go audio files, it still doesn't see it because it doesn't know that a WMA is audio. So you go down to all files, and of course it's not there. I'm in the wrong folder. Hold on. Ryan Sync. There it is, WMA. See, and I'm on all files. If I was on video files, I couldn't see it. It would be grayed out. I go here to all files and select it. Open. And boom, here it is. We can hit play. So, are you recording? So, um, now we need to convert this. We go file, export audio. The default is an AFE. Uh, stereo auto, that's fine. Just use the default. You want an AVE file. Hit OK. It will ask you where do you want to save it. We want to save it in the same folder as all of our other files. Remember in Final Cut, you have your Capture Scratch folder, that's for all your raw video, and then you have your Project folder, and that's where you save everything else. And for every video project, you create a new uh, folder. So you see here in my FCP projects folder. I have a folder for every video that I've done. This particular video is called Ryan Sync, so inside of there we have all of our files. So we want to save it as an AFE. Hit save. It's going to chug along there pretty quick. It was only a minute long. So we'll close that. And now there's our AFE. We can go in Final Cut. I could go File, Import, File, or I can just take my AFE and drag it right there into the list. Remember this list. It's not like you're copying the file into this list. All this list is, it's just pointing to those files. So um, here's our A file. If I double click on it, I can listen to it. 
click here. There's me clapping. And if I go here to my video clip, there's me clapping. The reason I clapped was so that I had a, you know, a snap or, or a loud, quick um, sound for me to sync my audio by. If you don't have a clap, uh, if it's a press conference and you can't really be clapping, then uh, you'll just have to go by a word or, or a bump or something or someone clearing their throat. So clapping makes life a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here like on our video clip and wait for me to clap. Okay. Now you see your video is only 30 frames a second. So see here, here you hear the clap, but I haven't even clapped yet. It's because, you know, I, I clapped a lot faster than 30 frames per second. So you have to go by the sound. So we're going to go here to stereo and now we can see the waveform. I can see that this here is the clap. So what I'm going to do is using the left and right arrows on my keyboard, I'm going to move it. You can see here, see the levels. And what I always do is I go till I hear the clap and then I go back one frame. And then I'm now going to hit I on my keyboard to set that as my in point. Now I go back here to video and you see here the clap actually happens before, you know, about here. So uh, I can now click on my video and drag it down like that. And uh, let's shorten this so we can see it a bit better. And there you go. So the video is starting right when I clap. We're not going to worry about that because I can cut the beginning off later. So for right now, we've just set our in point at the clap. Now we're going to go to our AFE file. And the same thing, we're going to listen to it. I'm going to go back a few frames using the right and left arrow. So there's the clap. I'm going to go back one frame. And I'm going to hit I. Now, because this is stereo, I, uh, because this is just audio, I can't click in the middle of it and drag down. See, if I click in the middle of it, I'm moving my cursor, right? So what you do is you click on the little hand tool here, and I drag that down to uh, there. And now what happens is this audio started right at that clap, and I dragged it down to zero seconds. This one started right at the clap, and I dragged it down to zero seconds. So down here in my timeline, at zero seconds and zero frames, you're hearing both of them. If you listen, is file number. they might be off by one frame, but no one's going to notice being off by one frame, so that's fine. So now our video and audio are synced. I no longer want this audio, so I can just turn it off like that and hit play. This is number 25, which is file number whatever, 25 or 25. I sound a lot better. You may not be able to hear it, uh, but it's, you know, in this A file, the it was my Olympus recorder, and I had a uh, lapel mic going right here, and a little tie clip mic, so I sound much more prominent. You don't hear the room, and uh, that is how we sync our audio. So um, this is obviously a lot more work. It would be, you know, if you had a, a video camera with a mic input, you could have plugged this, you know, my little tie clip mic right into the camera. But you know, you got to make do with the tools you have. So uh, that is how you sync your audio. Uh, and uh, and now also because you have to drag it the whole clip down and sync it, um, you kind of have to edit it differently too. Um, you can't just be setting your ins and your outs and dragging them down like you normally would. Uh, kind of what I would do if it's something simple is I would drag it down. I would use the blade tool and then I would actually end up using that for cutting up my uh, my video. So it's 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 kind of it's much slower, but again. It's, uh, it's worth it because it sounds a lot better.